Hey you guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. I'm so glad you came in here to see what the heck I'm cooking the Spill It Boy way. So that's what we're actually doing. You know what, I'm, I'm in this mode, I don't know why, but I'm in this mode of good meals that can actually be done with not a lot of preparation. Then there's some time involved but the preparation is not too, too bad on you. And then you end up with like a great meal that seems as though you've slaved over it. I don't know why, but I'm just kind of in that mood. And these are things that I actually do and I'm gonna share with you, like I said, the Spill of Boy TV way. Today, we're doing a rump roast, a beef rump roast, and roasted potatoes. Wait until you see how easy this is. It's good, it looks good, and it looks like you slaved over it. Child, it's easy. Come in closer, my loves. I'm going to teach you all of it. <laughs> it's a farce. It's all a farce. It's really, really easy. Really easy. Let's get started. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, you all know the drill. You know the drill. You see what it is. Rump roast. Rump roast, honey. Yeah. So listen, and like I said, you know the drill. Wash your meat. Wash your meat. I don't know where this thing comes from where people are cooking the things and they're not washing meat. I just don't get it. Wash your meat. Okay, here we go. I just had a little silver pan because this is a small roast, so it's not going to be, you know, a big major project. This is quick cooking with Spiller Boy TV. Now, listen. So over here, these are the things that I actually use. Lowry season salt. I got some onion powder, some garlic powder, some basil leaves back there, and black pepper and a hit of accent. That's it. And that's what we're going to do, honey. We're going to throw this little roast together and use it for a couple little things. Some little sandwiches and maybe some roast along with some macaroni and cheese. And, you know, there will be a little piece left. Maybe cut it up and do some um, beef fried rice, possibly. You know, there's so many things that you could actually do with a piece, a piece of beef that it's no real big issue to spend a little extra on the rump roast. Don't go get no cheap piece of beef. Get you a good piece of beef, honey, because you can use it for a couple of different things. Let's get started. Okay, so here we go. I got my roast. It's clean. See, there's still some little fat on there. You need that. And we are going to get it seasoned up. We're going to season it on both sides. Both sides. Like I said, a little bit of accent. Black pepper. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Lowry season sauce. I said the season sauce, season salt. And some basil leaves. Flip and repeat. Flip and repeat. Garlic powder, basil leaves, onion powder, accent, black pepper, and Lowry season salt. It seems like a lot, but it's really not. 
you got to have flavor. Nobody want no bland roast. You understand? No bland roast. Not over here. Flip that sucker back over. And go on to the next step. Okay, you guys. So now what I've actually done is I've taken a full onion and actually sliced it up and laid it strategically over top of my roast and actually put a whole stick of butter. I've actually cubed it up and actually put that on there as well. Laid everything on top. I'm going to take foil and cover this up. I've preheated my oven at 400 degrees and I'm going to take this and stick it in the oven and I'm going to go on off about my business and just let it do what it do. This is easy. This is one of those easy ones. Baby, you've done your work now. All you got to do now is start checking. Now, what I am going to do is I'm actually going to take this pan and I'm going to put some water in the bottom. I'm just going to put enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Just enough. You're not submerging your meat in the water. Just enough to where it's not actually frying and sticking and carrying on because the meat is naturally going to make some juice of its own. But I put the water in the pan just to give it a little assist. All right. And like I said, cover with foil. Please don't go buy any of that. See, I can't be responsible if you use dollar store aluminum foil. I don't know anything about it. I use Reynolds Wrap. I can't stand anything else. Um, not to say that those things don't work, but I won't be responsible if things don't turn out right because I told you to use Reynolds Wrap. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this and I'm going to put it into the oven and I'm going to let it do its thing and I'm going to go and do my thing. All right, you guys, see you in a bit. Okay, you guys, this is it. This is what you got. It has actually been literally four hours. It's been four hours. And uh, yeah, that's my roast. Now, I'm going to take and I'm going to pull a little stunt. And I'm going to actually remove my piece of beef. And I'm going to use this juice and these onions to roast potatoes. Keep watching. Okay, you guys. Now listen. Okay, so I have my potatoes here. White potatoes. And listen, I can't stress this enough. Wash your potatoes. I wash my potatoes before I peel them. And then I actually wash them again after I peel them. Remember, it's another thing that comes out of the ground. And potatoes are completely filthy. So I can't stress it enough. Wash your potatoes. Wash them and then strain the water off. Cube them. You can actually do whatever size that you really want. But this is, you know, this is really pretty good because they'll cook really evenly. Cube them. And then all I use at this point is some black pepper. And a bit of Lowry season salt and not a whole whole bunch because remember you're using the broth that has actually been created from you cooking your meat so it's already been seasoned so you don't want to overdo it because you don't want this to end up being salty and just take that and get that mixed up in here Really simple. I told you, this is quick and simple. Simple, simple, simple. Cooking time is the time that you're actually spending. Because actual preparation time, not that bad, not that bad. There you go. Boom. Now we're going to add them to the broth. All right, you guys. Now this is actually what it should be looking like at this point. Now, I will say this. This is something that you can do. And this is just up to you as far as taste goes. If you want to add a little more garlic powder onto your potatoes for more flavor, you can actually do that now, but just a little. Just a little. I wouldn't overdo it, but if you want to 
just kick up or ramp up the flavor, just depending on what mood you're in, you can actually add a little more garlic powder. If you notice, I don't really use garlic salt. I always use garlic powder, but you can put some garlic powder onto your potatoes at this point just to kick the flavor up a little notch if you choose to do so. Now, I'll tell you what, don't put any lemon pepper. I don't know about that. Don't do lemon pepper onto your potatoes. That's, I don't know where that little thing comes from. I was hearing people talking about lemon pepper potatoes. Don't know about that. Listen, but if you want to put a little garlic to kick up the taste and ramp up your potatoes, you can do that now. All right, you guys. Now, you're going to cover this back up with your Reynolds wrap and back into the oven and you got a little bit of time to uh, kill. Clean up your kitchen. Clean up your kitchen. Go, get to it. Okay, let me show you real quick before I actually go and run and finish cleaning up my kitchen and all of that. I just went ahead and put my potatoes into the oven. You see my rump roast, right? And my onions. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Look at that. You want to eat, don't you? You want to eat, don't you? I cut it down. A little bit just broke it down, start falling apart. That's what it's supposed to give. Good old supple rump roast. Waiting on my potatoes. Don't play with me. The Spill It Boy TV way. Go on and clean up your kitchen. I'll be back with y'all in a little bit. Voila, here we go. Now, it has been like an hour and a half, and this is it. Now, like I said, you know, we were working on 400 on the oven, but this is about an hour and a half and potatoes are done. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to go stirring in them or anything. Just once you put your aluminum foil on and just leave them and let them do their thing and they're good to go. We are done. We are done. I told you all this was going to be easy. I'm going to go. Y'all see that? All this goodness. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. I'm going to go plate this up and show y'all what we got going on. All right, I'm going to be back with you in just one second. Let me go get a plate up in here. Okay, so I got everything done, and I have it all plated. Let me show you what we're working with here. Roast beef and potatoes with onions on top. Listen, listen. Real easy. Made it look real hard. It wasn't hard. Let me taste it, honey. Let's see what's got going on here. As if I didn't know. Bay Bay. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Somebody would think that I was slaving in the kitchen. Not at all. Not at all. This was like literally one of my grandmother's favorite things. My grandmother would do it in a minute. Hit that phone and tell you, listen, I want me some beef. But her thing was beef and macaroni and cheese. Uh, a little more work. A little more work. Sometimes you could throw her off and do the potatoes. She'd be like, don't play with me. Don't play with me. I want macaroni and cheese. But baby, yes, this was actually Miss Thelma's favorite was beef and macaroni and cheese, child. Other than that, she loved fish. My grandmother loved fish. But yeah, beef and macaroni and cheese. She would hit that phone, baby, and I knew what time it was. I had to figure out a quick way to do it. So now you all know the quick way to throw it all together and make it look like you've been doing something. And you've been doing everything else. Prep time quick. Oven time, eh, not so quick, but you can get all your little stuff done that you need to get done while this stuff is doing its own thing in the oven, baby. Mm -hmm. Yes, God. I'm going to go eat my food. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Thank y'all for joining me. Listen, let's do this again. Let's do it again. I'll see y'all later. Out.